found his way up through the music ranks by way of internet money and YouTube. This man strategically used this platform to catapult himself into his first placement with artists Extentacion and Trippy Red. He is responsible for Juice World's Lucid Dream, which ended up charting on Billboard. He's young and well on his way to being a top-tier music producer. I'm talking about none other than Nick Mura. It's really unfortunate, but in this story of two rising stars being really important to the rise of Nick Mura, both artists sadly passed away. On August 25th, 2000 in Richmond, Virginia, Nicholas Warren Muir was born. Growing up, Nick Muir was always surrounded by music. In an interview, he said, I always grew up around music and I was always playing the guitar. Playing guitar was something I did for fun as a kid. Then as time passed, I got a keyboard from my cousins. At the time, I didn't know any scales or notes by heart or anything. I could just play by ear and I learned the piano and played for fun. Having sparked his interest in music, he would continue to do this repeatedly. Nick Muir would go on to say that as time went on, he learned about the whole beat game and how you can make beats on computers and use all these different softwares to make real music that you can hear over and over again, and he fell in love with it. It was at that time, beat making became a priority for Nick. He would sit in his room and make beats all day long. After putting countless hours in, getting better at producing, he was curious to know if he could profit off of his hard work. He began to do his research on YouTube on how to sell beats online. About six months after he started making beats, he uploaded videos of his beats to YouTube, which was pure genius. This is a strategy used by many up-and-coming producers to collect traffic, then funnel it through to their website. So Nick had a solid strategy to profit off of his beats. Around the same time in 2014, at just the age of 13, Nick Mira began to start his first internet business shopping his beats online that he posted to YouTube. At that age, he had plenty of spare time to create, and that's just what he did. Mira said, I submerged myself and learned all that I could about it, and I just wanted to be the best at what I do. So you could tell this kid from Virginia was hungry, had a burning passion for creating music and embraced the process at a very early age. Nick Mira was also conscious of where he came from with Virginia being a state that has given us a lot of greats. He said that I didn't grow up listening to Pharrell and Timberland, so later on, as I got into hip hop and producing, I had to culture myself and learn about the songs that they did. N.E.R.D. with Missy Elliott and Timberland and all of that. So Nick made sure he did his own work. In 2015, Nick joined Internet Money, which has a pretty decent following here on YouTube. Check them out. The link is in the description. In 2016, along with Taz Taylor, Nick co-founded the producer group and record label Internet Money which has a joint venture with Alamo and Interscope Records. After joining Internet Money in 2017, Nick along with Taz Taylor and Dex Duncan got their first major placement with Extentacion and Trippy Red's Fuck Love. It entered at number 41 on the US Billboard Hot 100 and eventually peaked at number 28 after X's untimely death. In 2019, this song would go on to break records by being the most streamed song on SoundCloud with 206 million streams, becoming 10 times platinum by RIAA. Also, in 2018, Nick Mira would link up with an up-and-coming rapper, Juice World. It was at this time he would produce a hit called Lucid Dreams. This record would peak at number two on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, this song amassed over 14 million certified units worldwide and went five times platinum by RIAA. I mean, Nick is crushing it really early in his producing career. In 2019, he linked up with a variety of artists, one being Lil Tecca, in which he produced Ransom, which peaked at number four on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Nick has plenty more charting songs, and to be honest, he's still young. And with time, one can only assume that he'll eventually get a number one and possibly take home a golden trophy soon. 
He said that I definitely want to see a Grammy someday. Keep grinding and without a doubt, you'll get one, Nick. I really hope you enjoyed this breakdown of Nick Mira's producing career. So why is Nick Mira so successful at a young age? In my opinion, I really think he capitalized on being an internet producer. We live in an age where your beats can literally be heard around the world in a matter of moments, and Nick took full advantage of this. Not only that, but he collaborated with the right people at the right time. A problem with most producers, I believe, is most feel that they can do everything by themselves, which some can, but not all. Problem is, this can be to their detriment because if you have a team of people that are on the same wavelength as you, then making a push at achieving more and faster is more than likely to happen. So, producers, and anyone for that matter, don't turn away from an opportunity to collaborate with people as you never know. You may be stumbling across your version of internet money and work with a team that's grinding just as hard as you. That's it for this video. As always, be sure to hit that like button if this video was informative to you. Also, if you want more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications so you can be up on all the latest content. As always, keep grinding. We major.